Here's how to load third-party plugins inside a machine. This was a question I received from someone inside of the MK3 Facebook group. They wanted to know how to load Serum directly from the hardware. To load a third-party plugin such as Serum, it's actually really simple from the MK3 using the browser plugin button. One thing to note is that if you want to go directly to the plugin window where you can load the third-party plugins, you need to remember to push shift and then the browser button. This will take you directly to the plugin window where you can load third-party plugins. Otherwise, if you're on a different page and just hit browser, depending on where you're at, it'll actually take you to the internal browser for all of your kits, instruments, and sounds instead. So press shift browser and then press down on the 4D encoder. Also make sure the first rotary knob is highlighted on instrument and not effect. Then using the second rotary knob, scroll down until you see the plugin manufacturer that you want to load. In this case, the person who asked in the Facebook group wanted to load Serum, so I'll go all the way down until I see X for records. Then using the eighth rotary knob, choose either Serum VST or Serum Audio Unit. Audio units are only on Mac. For this, I'll just choose VST, then press load. Then machine load Serum. Now that Serum is loaded, you can use some basic functions of Serum directly from the hardware and the rotary knobs. But for the best user experience, I recommend using the third-party plugins on the machine software, especially creating the new synth presets that you want inside of Serum. I have this Hyperpop ARP that I created the other day, and I'm actually going to go into the machine software, then click on Serum on the left. Then navigating to Serum's browser, I can go to the user section and then choose my custom Hyperpop ARP preset. Then clicking over to notes mode and changing it to major, I can go through and play a few notes. Now you can do the same thing with third party effects. Switching back over to the MK3, I just need to push the 4D encoder to the right, and then using the second rotary knob, choose the plugin manufacturer I'm looking for. I want to add a reverb to my instance of Serum, so I'll go ahead and scroll down until I see Valhalla DSP. Then using the 8th rotary knob, I'll choose Valhalla Room VST. Just like you can do with third-party plugins, you can also change basic parameters using the rotary knobs like mix, pre-delay, and so on and so forth. For this one, I'll go ahead and adjust the mix a little bit and add just a little bit of reverb to my Serum synth. Everything else from here works the same. I can engage the ARP function and then go to chords mode and record in a performance. You can add as many instances of third-party plugins as your CPU can handle. For my next instance of Serum, I just added a new group. And then pressing Shift Browser, I'll add another instance of Serum. And this time I'll choose another custom preset I created called Hyperpop Lead. Now using notes mode, I'll go ahead and record something over top of my ARP. Anyways, that's it for this video. That's a quick way to load third-party VSTs and third-party effects directly from Machine MK3. If you have any other questions on Machine or Machine MK3, be sure to leave them below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.